Good afternoon, everybody. This is the megalithic tomb of Quartu Sant'Elena in uh, Italy, Sardinia, uh, near Cagliari. This tomb, or megalithic grave, was found by, by me a couple of years ago. And uh, it's kind of sad to see that after all these years, nothing has changed. But what is a giant's tomb, this megalithic grave? Well, the name giant's tomb come, came from uh, the common people that uh, thought in the past that giant, huge men were buried here. But we know from archaeological data that uh, this was a common grave. But Archaeologists are still trying to search to understand for what this grave were made for. This tomb was found by me, as I said, years ago, with my friend uh, Sandro Garao. We measured it with a normal uh, meter and uh, we found that uh, this grave had the same dimensions of uh, another grave that is not far from here. At the time we were thinking that uh, this, uh, this monument was a so-called nurage, but from the measurements we have taken, we have seen that uh, the, the measure was the same of, as I said, another tomb. So we can say we discovered a Bronze Age grave. We have uh, visited it years ago with uh, the the archaeologist and uh, after the checkings they believed that this was a, a monument of the Bronze Age. But let's talk about datation. The datation of these graves are around 1800 BC and 1400 BC. There are two kinds of these graves. The megalithic ones, or called also cyclopic, made with normal stones, as in this example in granite, but very huge and very heavy. The second kind is the centered stele type. The centered stele is different because in the center, where is the entrance, you have a huge stele like that symbols the letter A. But later, with the time, the neuragic population stopped producing this kind of stele. We don't know why. And they started to making this other version of the same grave. The grave has uh, the shape of a bull's head, so you have uh, the chamber that is very long, like the nose of the bull, and then you have the horns. This part, where is the entrance, is supposed to be the, the head, the top of the head of the bull. Where are the horns? The horns are these parts going far from the entrance that are called also arms. The entrance is usually not very high. It's uh, often 50-60 centimeters and is very narrow. Recent discoveries tell us that probably the body was uh, dismembered, but sometimes can also be pushed inside the grave, sneaking inside this little hole and uh, drawing the body inside. These graves, as I said, were probably not for the common people, that is a, a very old thinking, but for the elites of the Bronze Age. Also, not jewels or swords or weapons or armor, have been found inside, possibly because of uh, the gold and the metal seekers. We still don't know. It's interesting uh, resting and waiting for the sunfall in these stones, kind of feeling the energy, the thoughts of these ancient people that built these megalithic graves with passion, with intelligence, with very skilled techniques of 
working stone of making uh, astronomical orientations and of course for religious and cultural purposes. This is everything from Alessandro Azzeni. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.